Welcome to the basic helicopter tutorial. This video will take you through the steps needed to create a simple helicopter model in Phoenix Builder. Start by creating a new model project. Click the file menu, then new, then model. A new blank model project will be created. The next step is to import your model geometry. Do this by selecting the mesh tool set, then the import mesh tool. Find and select the basic helicopter tutorial geometry file that you downloaded from our website. The link is in the description of this video. The next screen shows you different geometry components that can be imported from the file. We want to import all of the different nodes and materials, so click Import to bring the geometry into the scene. Now we are going to set some basic model parameters. Select the model node from the outliner. Type a name for the model in the name field. The model type to helicopter. Then set the manufacturer and a short description. Now we want to set how the model is sorted in the model selection menu in Phoenix by choosing the appropriate options here. The next step is to set the size and flying weight of the model using the fields provided. Set the frontal, lateral, and vertical dimensions of the model's fuselage in these fields. Now set the material this model is built from using the material list. You can also choose a cockpit for when the model is being flown from the cockpit camera mode. Lastly, select Yes from the Support Training Gear options to allow the user to add training gear to this model if they wish. Now set the center of gravity of the model using the on-screen C of G manipulator. Now we want to add a main rotor object to the model. Select the physics tool set and click the create main rotor tool to add a new main rotor object to the scene and select it. Use the on-screen manipulator to position the rotor in the correct place. Now do the same for the flybar's position. Use the scale manipulator to set the rotor blur diameter for both the main rotors and the flybar. Now we are going to set up the main rotor object's attributes using the options in the bottom right.
use the rotate manipulator to adjust the angle of the fly bar to match the model geometry. Now we want to attach the model's geometry to the rotor object so that when the rotor spins, so will the visual rotor blades. First expand the main rotor object and the model geometry nodes. Drag the main rotor blade meshes onto the blade geometry section of the upper rotor object. Now drag the rotor shaft mesh onto the spin geometry section. And finally, the rotor clip mesh onto the blur geometry section. Now repeat the same process for the flybar meshes onto the flybar section. Now set a user-friendly name for the main rotor object, which will appear under the model edit screen in Phoenix. The next step is to create a new tail rotor object. Do this by clicking the Create Tail Rotor tool from the Physics tool set. Use the Position Manipulator to adjust the position of the new object until it is in the correct place on the model's geometry. You may wish to use the wireframe view to make this easier. Use the rotate manipulator to adjust the rotation of the object to match the visual mesh of the model. Use the scale manipulator to set the rotor blur diameter of the tail rotor object so that it matches that of the visual mesh. Use the bottom right attribute editor to set up the tail rotor's parameters. Now we want to attach the model's geometry to the tail rotor object as we did previously with the main rotor object. Attach the tail rotor mesh to the blade geometry section of the tail rotor object and the tail rotor shaft mesh to the spin geometry section. Finally, set a new name for this tail rotor object. We now want to add a tail fin airfoil to the model. Do this by clicking on the Create Airfoil tool on the toolbar. Change the mirrored field to No so that we only get one side of the airfoil. Change the dihedral field so that the fin becomes vertical. Now position the fin in the correct place over the model's geometry. Now use the attribute editor to set up the fin's parameters.
Attach the fin geometry and collisions to the correct sections as you've done previously. Finally, rename the airfoil to a more user-friendly name. We now want to add some undercarriage to the model. Do this by clicking on the Create Gear tool on the toolbar. Use the two pivot points which appear to set the axis along which the gear will bend and flex when it impacts against the ground. The gear will now rotate along this axis and bend outwards when the model is resting on the ground. Now add the geometry and collision objects to the left and right sides of the new gear object, much as you've done previously. Finally, rename the gear to a more user-friendly name. Next, we want to set the preview image that will appear as the model's icon in the model selection screen in Phoenix. To do this, select the miscellaneous toolbar. Then click the Set Preview Image tool to enter the preview setting mode. Now use the normal camera pan, rotate, and zoom controls to position and size the model in the square frame. Once you are happy, again click the Set Preview Image tool to return to normal mode. This completes all of the main steps necessary to build a basic usable helicopter model. You should now save your project using the File menu. Once saved, you can use the test menu item to create a test version of your model which will appear in the test category in the model selection screen in Phoenix.